Oh, prepared speech for Gus Olson, ombudsman for the annual overseer election. All right. Data. Miscellaneous. Here we go. That is, n okay, something that you cannot read. Oh, the terminal password is Betty. Thank you. Got it. Roasted. Here we go. We can use Maria. We can use the flamer underwater. That's probably a little less effective. We can use whatever the fudge this thing is. But it's the same ammo type. We can use the lair. Read the speech. That note explains everything. I love you, chat. Good afternoon. Each year is the appointed task of the ombudsman to not only officiate the election, but to chronicle it in the hopes that after the last overseer has finished his term and walked to his death in the chamber beneath his office, and the vault has become still, that one day some excavator from humanity, or perhaps some yet unknown race of super beings, told ya, might find our records and incorporate them into historical canon. But lately it's occurred to me that's not really why. I think the real reason we do this is because we want to believe that somewhere in the archives there's an answer to all of this, or perhaps there will be when, one, when the historical records are complete and the whole story is told. We want it to make sense. To understand why the vault's mainframe will kill us if we do not offer one of our own as a yearly sacrifice. To fully comprehend why we continue to have these elections. Despite the unfettered corruption that has plagued it for what must be decades by now, there was a simpler time when elections meant shaking hands and kissing babies. But now with the rise of the voting blocks and this infestation of bribery, drug trafficking, smuggling, and God knows what else we want to know why. Well, I've been through the archives and I can tell you you won't find the answer there. You'll find an account of the first overseer who entered the vault as the only citizen aware of the sacrifices that would have to take place, but he didn't have the answers either. If he did, surely he would have foreseen the citizen's anger when he broke the news. Surely he would have guessed that they would want to choose a sacrifice democratically in the way that we citizens are accustomed to washing our hands of terrible deeds, and that his name would be at the top of the polls, and that simultaneous vacancy of overseer and martyr would forever fuse the two positions here in Vault 11. But he didn't. He had the answers no more than any of us, and the records state that after the citizens discovered that the sacrificial's chamber password was his wife Betty's first name, its door was unsealed so he could be offered as the first sacrifice, he walked down into that room crying like a child. I can only wonder if there are, are no answers to be found, and we're just going along with this because we don't have any other choice. Nevertheless, I still hold on to the hope that we can find one. I urge you all to take the journey I took to remember that it wasn't so long ago that we were ruled by our civility and our dignity and that those were times when we didn't have to be quite so ashamed. Thank you. Everyone's like, geez, get off the stage. Fucking blabbermouth. We're just, I'm just here for the human sacrifice. Okay. Obviously we'll take one dandy bird. Fancy lad snacks and dandy boy apples. That's not even like a contest. Freaking 19 Nuka-Cola? I'll take 9 for now. That's pretty absurd. We could take more, but I'm lazy. Um. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Take a Sunset Saspy. Um, we might as well have a Nuka-Cola right now. Wow. Ah, Viewless Dwarf. Thank you very much for the subscription. Much appreciated. Rex, you're freaking me out, man. Okay, we gotta go underwater. Doubtlessly. Assuming it's probably down to the reactor thing here. Alright, let's do this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Quick save. Enter the water. I thought that that was like a hollow tape or something. Small burned book. Whoa, cool physics. The future of video games. Help. I'm freaking drowning, dog! I freaking drowned! Oh, that is just... That is just sad. <sighs> okay, so we can't do this one. At least not without, like, a rebreather or something that allows us to breathe underwater better than that. What about this one? Go fast! You got open the door, get out. Rex, get the fudge out of my way, dog. This is the same way. You gotta go. That's all right. That's all right. We're okay. We're okay. All right. All right. Use the spacesuit. Does the spacesuit actually protect you here? 
Maybe if you drink some water first? There was a bubble in the middle of the room. That's the Banjo-Kazooie shit that I need right there. Oh, you're right. Okay. Down we go, baby. Open the door. Come back. What's going on in here? Free stim packs. Empty syringes. Dirty water? Why would I need dirty water? I'm surrounded by dirty water. The spacesuit does nothing. Okay, good to know. Uh, I'm not going to come back in here for every single piece of loot. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything super important. Spacesuit helps you with uh, rad resistance. Now that is, that's a true fact right there. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. What is going on? Okay, we got to find a new path through there. That's not a good strategy. I'm going to take some rad away just to make sure we don't get radiation sickness. This is another 100 seconds before we have to worry about that again. Lockers, lockers, lockers. I'm supposed to look at the lockers. Look at the lockers. Okay, okay, I know where we are now. Go back to the lockers. Go to the lockers. Okay, I'm going to go to the lockers. Lockers. Apparently, the lockers are important. Not that one, though. Not this one. What the hell? I've been lied to. Not lockers. Let's get the hell out of here. A nice battle brew would really help you out right now. <laughs> Don't tempt me. We gotta get these pumps back online or something. Quest marker. Yeah, well that's... I got sidetracked here, but you're, you are correct. We should be looking at this quest marker. You have quest markers, you amazing man. No, I agree with this, but we were in like a new area. You can't let your life just be dictated by quest markers at all times, you know? Alright, which one is like leave and which one is continue? I'm assuming this one's continue. But then there's stairs going up, so now I don't know what to believe. Oh, but it goes into the water, so this is where we want to be, maybe. Okay, here we go. Got like a real fast swimming speed here. I want to, I want to go the other way. Continue is the one not over a door. It's very sensible. I'm assuming it's that one, and this one is, yeah, that one's the door, okay. So it's like right in front of me. Oh, it's in this locker! Oh my lord. Let's get to fudge out of Vault 11, man. The, the movement in these vaults is, it's so, well, like, they're, they're so labyrinthine. Confusing. But we did solve the problem. Okay. I want to go to the overseer's office, honestly. Oh, never mind. I'm not that interested. But I was thinking I would go to the overseer's office so that I could, uh, you know, use the password to get down there. But I don't want it that badly. Solve the mystery of the vault? Okay, fine. I'll solve the mystery of the vault. We gotta go to the overseer's office, though. Is there, like, a side quest on my map I can use to help me out here? Wow. I don't believe so. Dark Seas Diver! It's perfect. Thanks for the subscription. Up there. Oh, this is the overseer's office. Up down to the side. Welcome to the Lion Pride. Alright. we do, That was... It was right there. And I was like, I don't want to look for it. Okay. That's, that's me in a nutshell sometimes. Here we go. Overseer order 745. Effective immediately, the traditional selection process for the overseer is hereby ended. In lieu of a yearly election, a citizen will be chosen one month prior to the start of his or her term with the mainframe's random number generator, ensuring completely complete impartiality and fairness. Okay. Split up, gang. Let's solve this mystery. Let's solve this mystery. Four words. Four Washington Lane. Let's go. Open sacrificial chamber. I know the password. Oh, fuck. Is this what the brother is, like, hiding in that sweet-ass U-shaped desk he's got? So we probably go in the other way, huh? Yo, you dropped the coffee mug, dog. That's gonna get crushed as fuck. 
This is like a sad story, man. Somebody like took coffee down here as their like final meal. Okay, I saved. Let's go. Congratulations, martyr. Your fantastic journey is only just beginning. Please proceed to the light. All right. Pretty excited about this. The light is calming and puts your mind at ease. Go to the light. I am inside of the light. I have entered the light. Welcome. Please sit in the chair. The show is about to begin. Okay. Greetings, Martyr, and welcome. If you're here now, it means you've been offered up as a sacrifice so that your vault can continue to thrive. Currently, you may be feeling sad or angry. Raul is a good dude for following you, following you down here. Absolutely true. Hey, Rex. I love you, buddy. And remember that each of us has an important role to play. For some people, their role might be to heal the sick. For others, it might mean they will drive a race car or fly a rocket ship. And some of us are meant to forfeit our lives for the good of the people. Well, that's sure, just terrible. It might not be as fun as driving a race car, but it's every bit as important. Let's take a moment to reflect on the moments that made your life... What is this? Getting a massage? You kissed your steady girl for the first time under the bleachers at the big game. Or when you snuck out after curfew to catch that new flick that your parents wouldn't let you see because it was too scary. Boy, were they right. And who could forget... Who could forget that time? Your life? Jeannie Mae Crawford sold your wife into slavery with the Caesar's Legion while carrying your unborn child in her stomach. Think of these things? Good. What you are feeling is peace. You've led a great life. Living it has been its own reward. But it is only the beginning. Close your eyes now and imagine what joys await you in the next life. The afterlife. Can you see them? Good. I want to come back as Rex. Um. What's going on? Oh! 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 We can do this! We can fight him off! We can do this! We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. I freaking control these bots anyway, as far as I'm concerned. We must kill the sentry bot. The sentry bot must die. Oh, hell yeah. Stay cool, stay cool. Fuck you, you're not taking me, buddy. Now put the movie back on. I want to know how it ended. <laughs> Wrong bots, NL. I don't give a shit. Everything inside of this area is going to die. For trying to make me murder myself. Old World Blues has prepared you well. Precisely correct. No, I don't want to close this door. Are you kidding me? It's the freaking mainframe, dog. Uh, okay, wait, wait. System recording, Vault 11 solution. Recording downloaded. Automated response, Vault 11 solution. Override lockdown. Okay. Yeah, I paid 15 bucks for this film. What a ripoff. Where's my Where's my audio recording? Oh, there we go. Okay. Congratulations, citizens of Vault 11. You have made the decision not to sacrifice one of your own. You can walk with your head held high knowing that your commitment to human life is a shining example to us all. And to make that feeling of pride even sweeter, I have some exciting news. Despite what you were led to believe, 
the population of Vault 11 is not going to be exterminated for its disobedience. Instead, the mechanism to open the main vault door has now been enabled, and you can come and go at your leisure. But not so fast. Be sure to check with your overseer to find out if it's safe to leave. Here at Vault Tech, your safety is our number one priority. You are precisely correct, chat. These motherfuckers got Shyamalan. Alright, I know you can hear me, so listen up. There's five of us left. Five out of, I don't know how many. So, it's over. We've talked and it's over. We're not gonna send anybody to die anymore. So shut off our water, our gases, or do whatever it is you're programmed to do. But we're done listening to you. Oh hell yeah! Easy Pete, I knew it! Is that canonically Easy Pete, or is that just the same voice actor? Oh, the one survivor was supposed to be in the game, but they ended up cutting him out. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Your safety is our number one priority. I agree, it's, it sort of falls on deaf ears a little bit. Sweet, well I'm proud of you, Easy Pete's voice actor. Oh, that, okay. Used to be something. It's not Easy Pete, it's not even the same voice actor. Well, they went to the same voice acting academy, that's all I'm saying. What's this 75 experience for? Go up. Is this the way? Upstairs are usually good. Go kill Easy Pete for retribution. Were you listening, man? Easy Pete uh, was one of the dudes who saved the day. He decided that, you know, human life trumps, uh, or like, uh, individual life trumps the, uh, the g collective or something. Sweet. Goodbye, Vault 11. I'm gonna save in case this thing shoots me. Goodbye. Oh, Raul, you're lucky. I'm gonna try to get you stuck on something. Save the day, how many years too late? Well, you know. Beggars can't be choosers. Come on up, Raul. Real sorry about this. Real sorry about this! <laughs> Woo! Oh. Ooh, goodbye, Raul. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? This is awkward. What's up with this truck out here? This is like some Mad Max shit. Okay, I guess we're doing this. Oh, it's Caesar's Legion! <laughs> this is like some uh, Jerry Lawler shit, man. My god, that's Caesar's Legion's music! Uh, we will use Annabelle. Which we continue to pick up missiles for, which is awesome. Uh, what in the fuck is that? Acceptable. Sorry, Rex. That's the cost of doing business. You have no freaking chance, Legionary Assassin. You might as well not even bark and try. You still chilling there, Rex? Or Raul? Sorry, wrong, wrong dude. Oh, but is there too much drop on the laser shot? I hope they've been waiting outside for like two weeks. Yeah, that's... I got, I got some good intel, guys. Super sledge. Oh, whoa, what the heck? The game went like full screen and then windowed. Um... Okay. We will repair our brush gun. Caesar's Legion dudes are gone. Whoa! You've learned the value of human life, now go save the lady in the other vault? Look, I got news for you, she's, she's long dead by now. What is going on with this USA truck? You have discovered El Dorado Dry Lake. Is this golf club? Oh my, what? 
Rex hunted him down! He was like 12 kilometers away! Rex doesn't give a shit! It's like a, a engine. Sweet. I don't really want to be at like El Dorado Dry Lake. Oh, we did level up though. Oh, sweet. Fire ants are good experience. That's what I like to hear. All right, we're going to take repair up to 60. And I think we'll take medicine up to 60. And we still have five skill points. Let's take uh, energy weapons up to 89. Sweet. 10 experience? Oh, I'm assuming the big ones might be a little bit more. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, whoa! They were 110 experience! That's amazing! You were not joking. Need to get repair to 90 ASAP. Get repair to 90 so you can get jewelry rigging. That one was pretty good. Oh, come on. Oh, it's Rex! I was like, what, is this dog thinks it stands a chance against me? You should go back and watch the rest of the series, buddy. Might as well do a little exploration out here. NL Mary Raul. I don't think it's that kind of game, man. NL, you should think about doing the Dead Money DLC eventually. You're supposed to be level 25. I think before you do it, which you are now. Uh, those DLC, well, Old World Blues at least, was an incredible amount of experience. And it was a lot of fun. I, uh... I could be persuaded. I'd kind of like to finish the last uh, Brotherhood quest first. Maybe get a fresh start on the DLC next week. Why is my aim so bad? Maybe I get a, a penalty when I run? Oh, it allows you to repair the, uh, the lair with the laser rifle. That is actually really good. Maybe laser pistols as well. Dead Money is really good. It's really hard, but really good. Dead Money is hilarious. It's not hard and real bad. It's not a good fit for NL. Fuck, Mary kill Raul, Boone, and Rex. Uh, uh, I would kill Raul because he's lived a long life. Is it Caesar's Legion? Uh, Raul's lived for like 500 years, so you know, he's had enough time. Um, I would fuck Boone, not because I find him attractive necessarily, but because I don't want to spend the rest of my life listening to him bitch and moan, and I would marry Rex because he's a badass dog. Viper Gunslinger. I'll take three bottle caps. And a couple of baseballs. You guys alright? You're not looking so good. Okay. Well, let's do the last uh, Brotherhood quest then. So, for that, we need to go data, world map. That's our final one. And this must be our final quest then, right? Over here at the South Vegas Ruins East Entrance. Our final part of the quest. Mercy kill them? I'm not gonna mercy kill them. They look like they have to take a poop, man. NL, they appear to have shat themselves. <laughs> I... I like your matter-of-fact uh, approach to it. All right. Search the vaults in the region for a reverse pulse cleaner. Got it. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Talk your way through the vault. Maybe I will. Oh, it's on my left. Okay, so it's like, do I have to go through the entrance? Wah! Blue Stag, thank you very much for the subscription. Much appreciated. I always love getting a chance to hear wah. Chili 470, did Mubad not recognize you? Kind of a dick that way. Well, thank you, Chili470. Much appreciated as well. Talk your way into my heart. What is this? What is this? What are these? It's Caesar's Legion? That's not Caesar's Legion. This guy is a fiend. I'm going to watch you fist fight my dog and then feast on your corpse. And what about this guy? God, Rex just doesn't give a shit about anything. Just murder him. Ice cold killer. I don't even know what happened there. That guy is just, like, sad.
This is the vault. So I do think I have to go inside. Is there a better entrance, maybe? I guess I'll murder these nerds first, or more accurately, have Rex murder these nerds. Yes, hello! Do you like anything from McDonald's? Um... No, I'm okay. What is that? You're airing out your, your genitalia. Excuse me? You were doing the, the requisite dance move for big I balls. Not. I did not. Oh, I did not. I did not murder him. Thank you, Kate! You said you're not getting anything, right? Yeah, but thank you for asking. This is an easy vault. Well, I mean, so far the fiends have... Oh, God! She got blindsided! So far the, the fiends have provided, like, no real threat. Did you see Rex clamber up that thing? That dude's got a clamber button. I was trying to think of an elegant way to say airing out your genitalia, and I think I, I probably failed miserably. Oh, whoops. Alright. How do we get inside of this place? There are some, like, boxed over doors. The bigger the cushion, the sweeter the pushing. That's what I said. The looser the waistband, the deeper the quicksand. Oh, so I have read. <laughs> I just heard the door open. Kate's like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Alright. R.I.P. Lair condition.